If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you own some or a lot of XRP. But what if I told you that Ripple itself is on the verge of going public? Would you also be interested in owning a piece of the Ripple company? In this video, we're about to discuss the details behind this groundbreaking piece of news and explain why I believe it could be bullish for the whole cryptocurrency asset class in the near future. As always, I want to take a moment and thank all our new and returning subscribers for being a part of this and explain what we do here for our first time viewers. Crypto Ride exists to help you responsibly navigate the unpredictable world of cryptocurrency through news videos, technical analysis, and project review videos. If you're passionate about incorporating cryptocurrency into your overall wealth building strategy, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel in the bottom right corner of your screen and activate that bell notification to stay connected. Here we go. In my last video, we talked about how Ripple could be setting up to have a big year in 2020. But at the time I made it, I had no idea that Ripple had this in the works. So Ripple's IPO could come within 12 months, suggests the CEO. So of course that came from Brad Garlinghouse. And if you don't know what an IPO is, it's an initial public offering. So what we're really talking about here is Ripple becoming a stock. Um, something that institutional investors and potentially retail investors could trade and own a piece of sometime within the next 12 months, so most likely within 2020. So Brad Garlinghouse was speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos, and he told Wall Street Journal on Thursday that an initial public offering was a natural evolution of the company. In the next 12 months, you'll see IPOs in the crypto blockchain space. We're not going to be the first and we're not going to be the last, but I expect us to be on the leading side. It's a natural evolution for our company. You know, Ripple is a company and Brad Garlinghouse, his initial goal was to build an extremely successful technology company that was powered by blockchains for the purposes of global remittances. And he has certainly done that. And let's talk about some of the other funding that they have here too. Ripple has raised a whopping 200 million in Series C funding. When you're in the process of going public and you're raising capital, you can go through Series A, Series B, and Series C. And by the time you get to Series C, you've already got a profitable business. So businesses that make it to Series C funding sessions are already quite successful. These companies look for additional funding in order to help them develop new products, expand into new markets, or even to acquire other companies. Series C rounds, investors inject capital into the meat of successful businesses in an effort to receive more than double that amount back. The fact that they're even at the Series C level shows you that Ripple itself has been maturing a lot over the years. So Ripple's looking to boost the uh, adoption of XRP, its native blockchain network, the XRP Ledger. Ripple also plans to hire new talent with the investments and expand globally. Now, they've already been working globally with partnering up with over 300 banks, but of course, there's always room for expansion. And as we talked about, they will be looking to get some of the 20 largest banks in the world to sign on and start utilizing their services, which of course means they'll be using XRP as well. Now, the other thing that Brad Garlinghouse did here was he hinted that more crypto firms will go public in 2020. And as the space matures, and that's an important word, matures, and arguably in the wake of the post-boom ICO route, which saw many offerings exposed as either outright fraudulent or simply unsuccessful, some firms are now seeking to build confidence with mainstream investors by way of public listings on a traditional stock exchange. What I want to do for a second is just talk to you about why I think this is bullish for the whole industry. What's going to happen if Ripple goes public, if this actually comes to be? Because, you know, right now, these headlines are just coming to you on cryptocurrency YouTube channels and cryptocurrency news so sites, maybe CNBC or some other larger stations touch it, but they're not going to be deep into the story. But if it happens, um, it will likely be one of the most talked about IPOs of the year, partly because it's cryptocurrency and it's controversial, right? People love talking about Ripple. I mean, even within the community, uh, partly because it's polarizing or for whatever reasons they have that people say it's centralized because there's a company attached to it. And I'm not here to argue and show you talk about my stance in that. But I am here to say that news like this of a technology company powered by cryptocurrency and one of the top cryptocurrencies at that, and one of the cryptocurrencies on Coinbase at that, that is legal all across America, is a powerful story. And that's something 
that we can get excited about and could potentially have a domino effect on the rest of the industry. Because what happens is people need to get a taste of what cryptocurrencies are. Okay, and then you go down the rabbit hole. And if you're watching this video, it's probably happened to you. I know when I first heard about cryptocurrency and one of my friends was telling me about it, um, I began to get curious and then I started reading and then I became an evangelist and then I started a YouTube channel and began investing. Well, not necessarily in that order, but when you get sucked into cryptocurrency, there is nothing quite like it. And hopefully we'll see more of them. Hopefully we'll see more companies go public. But this is the type of headline that could really help spark and ignite even further a bull market, which is already going to be hopefully coming because of the Bitcoin happening. And a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on this. And you can just read this and this green eggs and ham person is, is really negative on this. And quite frankly, um, I don't know why XRP investors would be so negative about this. This is a big thing and we need to be thinking bigger. You know, his whole message was he reminded the community that Ripple's has plenty of digital cash in the form of XRP stored in escrow. So he's basically saying they don't really need to go selling shares of Ripple. They've already got all the money they need. But I disagree. Not in that they don't have the money they need, but the publicity that this will garner is huge. All right. Another investor is happy. Expecting Ripple to get more liquidity without further XRP sales. And to get more funds from Wall Street, he believes after the IPO, retail investors would be able to buy Ripple shares. Of course, Michael B. made it clear he would definitely buy some. My question to you and our question of the day is, how are you feeling about this? Are you bullish on the fact that this IPO could be coming out and Ripple could be going public? Are you bullish about that? Are you excited about that? Are you interested in owning shares? That's a lot of questions, but just answer any one of those in the comments. Let's chop it up. I would love to talk to you guys. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found value in the content. Subscribe to the channel so we can stay connected. And I'll see you back here again soon with another video. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose and enjoy the ride. Take care.